I think there's still substantial growth, um, as you said, in the co-location business. Um, Fortune 500 companies are still a lot slower to adapt, um, pushing applications into the cloud. So there's definitely still going to always be a use for co-location facilities um, from the enterprises. But even as you see cloud companies, you know, a big misconception, people ask us all the time, how does that affect your business? Is the cloud taking away from data centers? Well, as, as we all know, the cloud lives in a data center. And um, right now the cloud is growing so fast that it's outpacing um, their ability to be able to build their own data centers to support that capacity. So the cloud companies are leasing data center space from co-location companies. So the largest absorption and the demand that we're seeing across the United States and really across the globe is actually coming from those cloud companies. And they are leasing the space from the co-location guys. And therefore, they're becoming very, very successful in filling up their data centers and, uh, and leasing that capacity to the cloud companies. So exponential growth there. And, and they're both mutually beneficial. The data center providers of today are absolutely developing multiple layers of redundancy for the needs of their users. When you think about the cloud providers who have a much more operational focus, much less redundant focus, their needs on the utility side are much more end configurations. Conversely, the financials, the insurance companies still need massive amounts of redundancies. They need a surety that they will never go down. So providers today are developing facilities that match the user's needs. So uh, we're really, uh, it's not just about economics, um, it's about uh, physical aspects of the site, um, such as uh, security, uh, redundancy. And now, really, in the last two years, we've seen uh, the cloud proliferate in the market. And what that really means uh, for us is that uh, our, our clients are looking to uh, figure out how much of their existing production capacity they're going to put into the cloud. So if a provider has cloud capabilities, that's great. That certainly goes into the evaluation. A lot of times it affects the economics uh, as well as the functionality of that pro provider. Um, some providers don't offer that as a service but do have cloud providers either on site or offer a connection. So. Really, over the last 12 months, 12 to 18 months, it's been uh, the way we look at things has changed uh, as the addition of cloud services uh, has really come onto the market.